Welcome back Dreamer to the fourth and final week of Realization 1. When we are aiming towards a heightened state of awareness within our lucid dreams, it's extremely crucial that we know why we want to do this in the first place. Having set a list of clear, thought out goals of the things that we wish to bring back into our daily lives can heighten our intention and in the end make us much more efficient dreamers. Setting our goals, in my opinion, is where most lucid dreamers fall short. Having the desire to become lucid alone as a goal is never really enough. So we need to create a future scope timeline of our intentions within our subconscious minds that you can journey towards. And this is exactly what Unlock Lucidity is all about. Reaching out to our unique focal point of attraction, thus creating our dream and wake lives exactly as intended. Here is a metaphor on how effective goal setting really is. Let's just say for a moment that you are in the dark and you have no torch and you can't see where you are going. You'll most probably bang into things along the way. So to counteract this, we must manifest a torch or a set of clear future goals. Now we have a beam of light to follow without banging into any other obstacles along the way and we arrive safely at our destination. I utilize a simple yet effective system in setting my lucid dreaming goals, all of which is inspired by a wonderful personal development teacher and communicator, Mr. John Rohn, who sadly passed away in 2009. Rest in peace, John. He shared with us many great teachings, and in particular, how to set amazing goals. So I have created a separate sheet that's included in your downloads area, ready for being printed out, named Objective Sheet, and this can be looked and read out loud daily. So stick it somewhere where you know you can't miss reading it. On the front of your door is a great place to put it actually, just before you leave the house. I suggest writing it out by hand first so that the muscles in your fingers when you write connects to your brain much more effectively and creates new neural pathways. Whereas if you were just using one or two fingers, to press onto a screen like a mobile telephone, for example, you are utilizing only just a few muscles and in return, your subconscious connection to your brain won't be as effective. This is why writing anything down into your journals is a direct communication to you and your subconscious mind at any given time, which of course is ideal for when we want to reprogram ourselves to have more frequent lucid dreaming. So let's take a look now and I can explain how we are to set our goals for a better dream and wake life. Notice how I said your waking life also. So let's get creative and seize this opportunity. First we print off our objective sheet and then we write with a pen the relevant goals and objectives that we wish to create into our dream and waking lives. From here on, you will read these out daily, out loud, and simmer in the feeling that it has already occurred. Be super honest with yourself and don't leave any stone unturned when writing. Be sure to place your objective sheet somewhere where you can easily access it on a daily basis. Let's see some examples now. From our short term goals within a year, we write into the finances and business column our first objective. Within this section, you may list all of your short business and financial related desires that you wish to see come alive within a year. For example, maybe you wish to run a successful florist shop. Moving along, under the things column, list all the materialistic things you wish to gain into your life. For example, a new sports car perhaps. Then to the next column along, under personal development stroke dream life, List all the relevant things you wish to create and experience in your lucid dreams. For instance, you may wish to experience what it would be like to fly. Not only can lucid dreams be used for recreational use, which is fine for when you are finding your dream feet for the first time, but you can also use LDs for personal development, like healing old childhood wounds and facing fears, like having a fear of heights, for example. There are no rules in which you must follow when experiencing lucid dreaming for the first time. So only do what you feel resonates with your current path. If you prefer to paint like Vincent van Gogh within the lucid state, then please experiment. The dream world is your oyster. Now underneath, we can signal to our subconscious minds that even after a year, 
we are still projecting desires and objectives that we want to see manifest. This tells our subconscious minds that we mean business, and so we then derive more incentive for us to become lucid in our dream state. And furthermore, we see the things we want to create into our waking lives also. For example, under finances stroke business over a year, you have made a substantial amount of money from your business that you created a year ago. And for the things column, you can now write owning a beautiful new family home. The things we can create into our lives are infinite. But the catch is, in order to see these particular things show up, we need to first create a daily habit in reading them out loud and believing that these things are already a reality. So what are you waiting for? Print off the sheet right now and get writing down your future life. Good luck. You know, this is exactly the whole point why I practice conscious dreaming today. For sure, we can set short-term goals to experience what it would be like to say, you know, fly like an eagle in a lucid dream, which I thoroughly recommend, by the way. But there is also another great opportunity for problem-solving waking life's conundrums. Maybe you'd like to attract more abundance in your life and not sure how to set up that new business. Well, then maybe set that as one of your goals. I think what really works well with goal setting is to be as specific as you can and be clear and concise when you're writing your wishes down. This will wake up your subconscious mind and you will be heard loud and clear. Dreams in general can uncover many meanings I feel, yet with goal setting and lucid dreaming combined, we can delve a little more deeper and see a hidden truth about ourselves.